Hello guys, how are you today? Vamos a esperar en lo que se conecten los demás, ¿ok? Vamos a esperar unos minutitos. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Dos minutos más, ¿ok? En lo que se conectan los demás para empezar unos ejercicios. Solo díganme si me escuchan, please. Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Vamos a esperar dos minutos más. Okay. Okay, guys, how are you today?
Hello, everyone. Hello, how are you? How are you today, guys? Very, very. Um, very good day. Okay, excellent. Bueno, me imagino que ahora voy a estar monólogo, ¿ok? Um, les traigo una activity, write an activity, ¿ok? Ok. You have to write uh, if it is much or many, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you. <coughs> ok. <coughs> Okay, when you finish, tell me, okay? After that, that we are going to uh, write a dictation, okay? You are, we are going to listen a dictation. Okay, teacher. Finish, teacher. <coughs> I finished too. We have a... Lo hacemos juntos, solo déjenme, es que les ando buscando el... Uno que no está tan largo. Ok. Uno que no está tan largo. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I didn't sing well. I don't know. Yeah. Ok, Morena. Eh, as you can see, there are five sentences. Ok. Yes. You can, you have to write eh, much or many. Ok. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome to class. 
Okay, we are working. Sure. Hola. Sure. Hello. Uh, could you, puedes escucharme ahora, Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, tonight I do not participate in the class teacher because I have been my job. Uh, but uh, I, I can listen to the class teacher. Okay. Don't worry about Thank it, let me, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's do it together. Uh -huh. What about number one, guys? How many? How many? How many people are there in the restaurant? Yes, excellent. Number two? How, much? How many drinks? How many drinks? How many drinks? Teacher, I write much. Oh my God. En el caso, el detalle es que está pluralized. It's, uh -huh. How many drinks? Two drinks. Okay, the correct is many. Many. Okay, quiero ver. Okay. Uh -huh. What about number three, guys? How, how, much, much, money? how much money? How much money? How much money? How much money? ¿Qué le pasa? Quiero ver. Jim Ginebra. ¿Quién es Jim Ginebra? De ustedes. ¿Ustedes, Carlitos? Yes, teacher. Mm. Ya le vamos a ayudar, oye, después del, de los ejercicios. O quiero ver qué dice. Ayer vimos eso, Carlito. Ajá, ¿cómo sería entonces? Ayudémosle a Carlito, pues. Uh -huh. No, Ari. Teacher. Hello, Evelyn. Good, good evening. Eh, en la, no escuché la, la, lo que íbamos a hacer, pero según entiendo, vamos a poner si es incontable o contable. Ajá, yes. much or many. Vamos en el tres. No le quería ayudar, Carlito. Ya vamos a ver eso. Solo en el final. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you. <laughs> no, how much o how many in at number three? How much? Yes. Much. How much? Huh? And what about four? How? How many? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Acordémonos que el, 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 este, el pan, como, ¿qué unidades podemos utilizar con el pan? Pieces. Pieces. Uh -huh. so, slice. 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 Yes. slice uh -huh. What about number five? How? Many. 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 Okay. Oh. How many pizzas are there on the menu? Excellent. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, okay, para los que puedan, ¿verdad? Para los que puedan, les voy a hacer un dictado. Si usted no puede escribir, pues acaso omiso, ¿verdad? Solamente para aquellos que sí pueden. Ok. Leemos tres veces, ¿verdad? Le first, we listen. The second time, we write. And the third one, we check. Check. 
Okay. 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 Listen, it was two years ago and Ricardo and his parents when were staying in a hotel in Rio de Janeiro. He was 15 and soccer crazy. They were having coffee in front of the hotel when a big new bus arrived. When the people got off the bus, he couldn't believe his eyes. It was Santos, one of the best Brazilian soccer team. Cortito, ¿sí? ¿O quieren más? <laughs> Ahí están, me dicen. Porque tiene tres Ay. párrafos. It's okay. Tiene tres párrafos, el que les leí solo es uno. ¿Está bien con uno? Yes, yes. Yes. Uno, ¿verdad? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Now listen, ¿ok? Escuchemos. Ahora sí, escribir. Ya, ya lo escuchamos una vez. Si no sabe una palabra, yo se la deletreo con gusto, ¿ok? O okay. si se queda, me dice, please. It was two years ago. It was two years ago and Ricardo Teacher, sorry. It Otra was vez. two years okay. ago. Bye, vamos. It was two years ago and Ricardo. Okay. En Ricardo, de, de I. Ajá, en Ricardo, yes. En his parents. Where is staying? <coughs> Teacher, where, excuse me. Dice, and his parents were staying. We're staying in a hotel. <laughs> in Rio de Janeiro. In Rio de Janeiro. Como sea, como sea, Mario, ¿ok? Como sea, lo puede escribir, solo porque acuérdense que después de eso, este lo revisan, ¿verdad? Y se lo voy a mandar a WhatsApp o se los mando aquí a este chat. Uh -huh. Va a decir. Period. Period. He was 15. He was 15 and soccer crazy. Period. They were having. We're having. They were having. 
happening. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Um, coffee. Coffee. In front of the hotel. In front of the hotel. Mm -hmm. In front of the hotel. Hola, Marcelo. Este, hay algo antes de It was two years ago. O oh, ahí comenzó. Que solo eso alcancé a escuchar cuando me vine a sentar. Mm. So... No, eso es lo primero, oye. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Ok, decimos, they were having coffee in front of the hotel. Se los estoy repitiendo. In front of the hotel. I had that. Sorry, Albert. Hi. In case I have a headache. Yes. Sorry. Drink water. Okay, of the hotel when a big new bus arrived. Le digo que tome agua porque. Yo ahora me di una soleada de aquellas y me di una jaqueca y dolor de que es el sol que está tan fuerte. Deshidratación. Dios, horrible. Ok. Uh -huh. Después de hablar de cosas de viejitos. Ay, qué triste. <risa> <risa> uh, tremendo, pero ni modo. Ahí estamos. Pues sí, viejitos, hay que trabajar, pues, ¿verdad? No podemos evitarlo. Ah, pues sí, hay que comer sí. todos los días. A todos mí, los días. Todos los días día. comemos, cabal. Y caro está todo. When a big new bus arrived. When, when dice? When a big new bus arrived. When a big new a bus arrived. New new bus, bus arrived. Period, guys. When the people got off, got off. When the people got when off the bus, comma. Okay. Teacher, please. When the people, when the people got off the bus, comma. He couldn't. He couldn't believe his eyes. He couldn't believe. He couldn't believe it was Santos, comma. Excuse me, teacher. Can uh, you repeat after he couldn't believe, please? Quiero ver. He couldn't believe his eyes. His eyes. It was Santos, comma. It was Santos, comma. One of the best Brazilian soccer teams. One of the best Brasilia, Brazilian soccer team. Ya les leo para, para, para que lo, 
Y tomando mucho perrito. Ok, repito nuevamente. It was two years ago and Ricardo and his parents were staying in a hotel in Rio de Janeiro, period. He was 15 and soccer crazy, period. They were having coffee in front of the hotel when a big new bus arrived, period. When the people got off the bus, got off, perdón, got off the bus, coma, he couldn't believe his eyes. It was Santos, one of the best Brazilian soccer teams. Ahorita se los mando. Todos están en el grupo. De Carlitos, hombre, eliminó el mensaje, nombre, hijo, ya le vamos a ayudar. Ahí se los mandé a WhatsApp, si alguien no tiene acceso, quiero ver. Ahí lo revisan, pero ni me dicen cuántos errores tuvieron. Ok, teacher. Ok, ahí lo revisan y me dicen cómo les fue, ¿ok? Ya no se conectó Tati, ¿verdad? Tati, no me acuerdo quién es más, no se conectaron ya. Teacher, I have two mistakes. Tati, pero tenía día de no venir, Tati. Me acuerdo. ¿Cuánto, perdón, Sofi? Two mis mistakes. Excellent, Excellent Sofi. Tati, pero se me perdió, se me perdió. Yo dije, ya no se va a conectar. Para que vean que estoy pendiente de ustedes. Uy, oh, fue Guatemala. ¿Qué nos trajo? Nos trajo. ¿Cómo es que le llaman a la? ¿Cómo es que le dicen a un? Es como un pancito que venden allá. Champurradas. Champurradas, cabal. Bien bueno. Solo el cuento nos trae. Uh, teacher, I have two mistakes. Uh, because I grow soccer team in in singular and Brazilians because I wrote it with an S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Diego. <laughs> I just say campero. 
no, el niño coman otra cosa cuando hay... No, no, verdad, mejor lo seguro. Más dándole hoy enfermo el estómago. Hay unos panes que dice mi esposo que son buenos, que los venden en Antiguo Guatemala, pero no me acuerdo de los de pierna de cerdo, no sé cómo dice. No, no hay Guatemala. Sí, sure. ¿Mm? I have a six mistake. Six mistake. Excellent, Dinora. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Um, also do I, <laughs> I agree with the, um, the Senora. Uh -huh. I have a six mistake uh, because okay. I don't understand. Um, I I believe my uh, interference, I don't listen well, but I don't know. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, Norita, thank you. Uh -huh. In my case, I only have three mistakes because when it says a big new uh, uh, right, I wrote a right as a, a right. No, a right. And the other, uh, I wrote sight. Uh -huh. S I G H T, no eyes. Okay. Another one, uh, when it says it was some one, one something about desire, no one the one the, mm -hmm. the number, only three mistakes. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Alejandro is said three mistakes. Excellent. Okay. Todavía se siguen mintiendo, no, son por el ego que vayamos a terminar el curso. Ok, guys, as I, I know, nos vamos a conectar, creo que este viernes también, ¿verdad? Yes. Ya, ya a partir yes. de la otra semana ya sería. Five mistakes. Ok, thank you, Mario. Excelente. A partir ya de la otra semana sí estaríamos de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Solamente este viernes por cuestiones de, tem de, de tiempo. Hola. Very good. Ok. Bueno, eso es lo que yo tengo en mi calendarización, ¿verdad? Pero siempre avisan, ¿verdad? Pero si estén pendientes, por si tienen alguna salida de, del Día de la Amistad. Y ayer fue el Día de la Amistad, ¿verdad? ni siquiera nos felicitamos. ¿verdad? Ay, se me fue. Es cierto. Tan afanados vivimos, ¿verdad? Y todo. Estamos fregados. Ay, no. Qué triste como, crecer. Es cierto. Así como ustedes viven de afanados, yo también. Ok. Four days I went. Ay, qué genial. Two mistakes. Thank you. Excelente, Carlita. Quiero ver quién más escribió. Dice Carlitos también. Ok, Carlitos, thank you. Vamos a ver. Me voy a poner ese porque no odio este, que me pongan este en los... En lo, a mí no me gusta que me pongan este dedito en los mensajes porque lo siento así como... No sé cómo. Ah, vaya, está bueno. Para mí es así como, ah, va, está bueno. Es como, no sé, sin importancia. Entonces, por eso les puse una, una carita como uf, haciendo fiesta, ¿verdad? Por eso no. Prefiero poner otro emoji, pero no me gusta ese. Okay. Por dos dice. Happy Valentine Day. Sí, sí, para todos. Everybody, ok. Ahí les mando un pastelito virtual, pero ¿qué quieren comer? <risa> que se me hicieron las cositas. Aquí está. ¿Qué quieren comer? Les voy a mandar algo. 
pizza. Ok. Este es el regalito para las niñas, un par de zapatitos. Pero le puse. <ríe> y a los caballeros les vamos a regalar unos jeans. ¿eh? Para que no digan que no les di regalito. Thank you, Peter. You're Thank welcome. You, y, hello, y una hamburger para todo. Ajá. Yes, it's delicious. ¿Qué pacho? ¿Quién me habló? Virtualmente celebramos. Ok. Thank you guys. Excellent. Ok. Esos ejercicios nos sirven, ¿verdad? Para practicar. Ok. Para practicar. Vaya, Álvaro le regala rosas, ¿ves? Para todo. Ok. Los dictados sirven un montón. Ok. Mm. Eh, sirve, por decir así, las four skills, podemos decir. No, las tres. Three skills. Desarrollamos three skills. Listening, and reading, and writing. Ok. Es bien completo. Por eso a mí me gustan bastante y, y trato de hacerlo seguido por esa razón. Ok. Por un marzo sin sorpresa. Ay, no. Sorpréndeme. No digan eso, por favor, porque viera cuando uno sorprende en los meses. Igual este... Ay, no, ya me olvido lo que le iba a decir. Tan así. Ahorita les digo lo que vamos a ver de la plataforma. Por si ya lo vieron, pero igual repasamos, ¿verdad? COVID-20, dice. ¿Cuál COVID usted? Ay, no, ya no hablen de COVID. Yo siento que ya me dio la saga de los COVID. De repente, no sé si es gripe, si es COVID, si es viruela del mono, si es... Ya siento que solo con que me vean ya me enfermo de la gripe. Yo creo que todos hemos quedado así, va todos lisiados de, de enfermos. Un Se medio me norte hace ya ando. Uh. Ok, guys. Después de hablar de, lo, de, de la vejez, vamos a la plataforma, ok. ¿Qué dice el público? Un chocolate, esa, Claudita, thank you. Una tacita faltó también con chocolate. Ok, guys, listen. Listen and, and, and breathe. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Mm -hmm. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives, 
And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and you know, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. So let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're gonna have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is gonna be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is gonna be followed by enough and then uh, we're going to have some sort of complement here so in this case it happens to be families right so if we look at the pattern we have a subject i'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so we can see what's happening there. that's in black there we go so we can see that the subject is apartments and this is followed by the verb to be in this case it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form after that, we're going to have some sort of adjective, and then it's going to follow the word enough, and then we're going to include uh, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following, apartments aren't, and so I'm gonna change the adjective here. So I'm gonna say aren't spacious enough for families, okay? Mm -hmm. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm gonna change the adjective now. I'm gonna say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer <coughs> using the verb to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to 
show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, uh, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the. Si estamos entendiendo hasta ahí? Yes. Yes, everybody. Okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. The adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough, and then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces okay uh, so the noun is part of space and then you can think of a complement if you will so you can include something else there so for example uh, what could that be don't have enough parking spaces for people right that could be the complement but in this case the noun is parking spaces and quickly i want to talk about nouns so what are nouns what are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. It depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives, such as the ones that are here. And of course, following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. <coughs> and I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using now. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then of course, you're gonna follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Okay. Did you understand, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ya hicieron este ejercicio. No, I don't. No. Yes. Solo hagámoslo para ver si entendimos. Okay. Okay, we this is only according to the A. Ah, okay. Si sí, en ahí dice quién dice Silvita, ¿qué le pasa a Silvita? Pobrecita Silvita se desconectó. Okay, vamos a ver, dice, 
According to the audio on section 3.1, apartments are too small for pets, are too big for pets, or are big enough for pets? Are big enough for pets. Are too big for pets. Number three. Too small for pets. Are too small for pets. There's one. Are too small for pets. Aquí está. Aquí está. Aquí está. Aquí está. Dicen too small for pets or big enough for pets. The first one. Are too small for pets. The first one. The first one. First one, eh? First, yes. Which is correct. Okay, listen. Apartments isn't comfortable uh, enough for families. Apartments are too comfortable for families or apartments aren't comfortable enough for family. Apartments aren't comfortable, comfortable enough for families. Aren't. For some number? Three. 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 Which is correct. Number three. <clears throat> apartments don't have privacy enough. Apartments don't have enough privacy. Apartments have privacy enough. Apartments, apartments don't, don't have, have enough, enough privacy. Enough, enough privacy. privacy. So? The second two. one. Second. 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 Which is correct. Apartments don't have space enough. Apartments don't have enough space or apartments have space enough. Apartments don't, apartments have, don't have, have enough space. space. So? The second, the second one. Vamos a ver. Woo! Excellent, guys. Okay. Ya que estoy aquí, no me quiero ir. Este, Carlitos, ¿cuál es el ejercicio que quería hacer? <coughs> me avisa. Para, ya estamos en la plataforma. Por favor. Carlitos, escribió, quiero ver. Carlitos, hombre, solo de enojado. Carlitos, va. Nos vamos pues de la plataforma, Carlitos. Ahí está. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál es ese? ¿Cuál es, Carlitos? Quizás es de, lo, de los de antes, pero quiero ver. El 3. El 3, pero... Vamos a ver. Okay. No, no. Entonces, ¿qué estamos de hacer? Ahí sí, todavía lo de la, lo de los apartments. Debe estar más adelante de eso porque ahí yo recuerdo haber hecho esos ejercicios y no me sale, no recuerdo haber visto lo que él reporta. Mm, ya, yeah. thank you, este, Diana. Bye.
¿Cuál será? Prácticamente es el examen que está en la sección 3. ¿Cuál es el, el de la 3? Pero es el de este, el de este examen. El ejercicio es. Me aparece Carlito. Pero desde la foto se puede hacer, quiero ver. Que no sé cuál es. ¿Cómo será la, 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 la segunda? Dice, Lance Shulmore, we bicycle have. <coughs> Primero tenemos Sapiet, ¿ok? Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, guys. What is lens o lanes? No sé qué es. We should have more bicycle lanes. ¿Será así? Voy a ver si está aquí. Ahorita vemos cuál es mejor así porque no, no sé cuál es. Lances carriles. Entonces, carriles de los que los bicicleteros usan. Entonces, ¿cómo sería entonces como Nora dijo, verdad? We should... Have more uh, bicycle more? lands. Bicycle lands, ok. Lands. Uh -huh. Excellent, Norita. El number three, ¿cómo le sería? Uh, ¿Cómo sería? There is too much pollution. Mm. There is too much air pollution. Oh, air pollution. Uh -huh. There is too much air pollution, okay? <clears throat> Vaya, ahí está este. Al final ya no sé si volvió a Silvit. Ah, sí, se volvió. Tu mucho, es tu mucho, le puse yo. Perdón, es tu macho, ¿ok? Ah, no, no le he mandado esa lenturita. Ay, es que. Espérenme. Que se lo estaba mandando a, a Diana porque me mandó directo el mensaje. Okay, guys, do you have any question about platform? No? No. No questions so far. Until uh, what section we have to finish tomorrow? Quiero ver si mandaron el completo. Ah, pues sí, 17 ¿Sí? clases normales, guys. Eh, no sé. O Friday, I don't know. Yo creo que... No sé, pero por lo menos trate de terminar la tres. No me acuerdo. Teacher. Hola. 
the deadline for the complete the platform is tomorrow or oh, Friday? It's Friday. But I Friday, guess. I guess. Mm -hmm. Friday. Okay, I don't remember you. the date. Uh, Friday at midnight. Les van a pedir la 3 y 4, pero no sé. No sé cuándo. No sé si es esta semana o la otra. Um, ya terminamos. Quiero ver. Ahora es la clase 8, ¿verdad? Two session with uh -huh. two session for the week. Creo que el 27 terminamos, ¿verdad? No, no martes, martes 28 porque ya el viernes no, no vamos a tener. Martes 28 terminamos, ¿ok? Para el 27, antes del medianoche, no espera la medianoche, no va a ser que le bloquee la plataforma. Ya tiene que haber entregado, ¿verdad? Yo les recomiendo que... Por lo menos el viernes 24 usted entregue o el fin de semana para que ya pueda descargar su certificado, ¿sí? Porque estamos en, en las clases, estamos tratando de, de, ¿cómo se llama? De enriquecer el conocimiento, pero también necesitamos de un diploma, ¿verdad? Va, Claudita. Si quiere, mañana. Ya que se hizo súper tarde. El midterm, mid ¿ok? Mañana, entonces, vamos a agarrar un tiempecito para ver eso, ¿ok? Guys, okay. if you don't have any questions, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. tomorrow son, perdón, Bye. Son, son cinco secciones, pero está el midterm mid y el final exam, ¿ok? Por eso se hace bastante. Ok. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow, bye. guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.